Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Apri Stylians. My name is Neema. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this pattern using the Harlequin stitch. The pattern is a 16 by 16 throw pillow slip cover. So I've already made the first side and I'll be taking you through how to make the same. It's a four row repeat pattern and you can change colors as many times as you want or you can have it plain. I still think it's a beautiful beautiful pattern and it gives you a lot of texture so for today's pattern i'll be using this burnt orange thread this is a four ply medium weight yarn i'll be using them in threes together with this white thread this is a chunky thread three of these together will be able to match the same weight as this so i'll be using that with my size six millimeter crochet hook uh, together with my pair of scissors and my dani needle. If you love crocheting and are passionate about the craft, you've definitely landed in the right place. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our future crochet videos. Let's jump straight into the pattern. I'll start off my pattern with my burnt orange thread and I'll be using them in three strands. From each of the three that I have, I'll just pull a thread from each and we'll have them and we'll work with the three as a unit i'll start off by making a slip knot so i'll hold the tail end with my left hand wrap it around my two fingers make sure it crosses like that turn it go in with your crochet hook reload the first one and loop on the second and pull on your thread and i have my slip knot on my hook so we'll start off by making a chain stitch for this pattern we'll be working with multiples of eight plus two in order to achieve 16 inch using my size six millimeter hook we're going to crochet 50 chains as my foundation chain that is eight multiplied by six to make 48 plus an additional two so multiples of eight plus two don't forget that so to make a chain you just yarn over pull through that loop yarn over pull through that loop yarn over pull through that loop yarn over pull through the loop these are four chains one two three four i'll continue till i have 50 chains in total so i have my 50 chains the 50 count ends on this previous chain the the loop on your hook does not count as a chain please bear that in mind we are going to start off with row one and we're not going to work on this first chain we're going to skip this first chain and work on the second so we're going to go into that space pull up a loop yarn over pull through two that is a single crochet and in the next place we're going to go in pull up a loop yarn over pull through two that's our second single crochet go into the third pull up a loop yarn over pull through two that is our third single crochet so for row one it's just a row of single crochet all the way to the end so i've worked my last single crochet for row one and i have a total of 49 single crochets because at the beginning of our row remember we skipped one chain that reduced our 50 chain counts to 49 so at the end of row one you want to have a total of 49 single crochets to begin off row two i'll yarn over make a chain and turn my work and in this first space we want to go in there and work one single crochet then skip the next three spaces and in the fourth space i'll yarn over go in the fourth space and work a double crochet that's one double crochet yarn over go into the same space pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over going to the same space pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two that's a total of three double crochets in the same space then i'll chain one and then work three more double crochet in that same space so yarn over going to the space pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over going to the same space pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over going to the same space yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two now I have a total of six double crochets with a chain space between. Then I'm going to skip three spaces, one, two, three, and in the fourth, I'll work a single crochet. Then I'll skip three more spaces, and in the fourth space, I'll work another set of three double crochets. So that's my first double crochet. 
my second double crochet my third double crochet then I'll chain one and then go into the same space and work three more double crochet so that's the first the second the third making a total of six double crochet in the same space then I'll skip three spaces one two three and in the fourth I'll work a single crochet so for row two is a repeat of the same single crochet a set of six double crochet single crochet and a set of double crochet and in between the in between we'll be skipping three spaces and working on the fourth you want to continue with the same pattern all the way to the end of row two i've worked on my final set of double crochet so three double crochet a chain space between and three more double crochets then i'll skip one two three spaces and then in the fourth i'll go in there and work my single crochet to finish off and after this we will be switching our thread and how i like to do it is i just cut off i give it an inch from the edge and cut off i then come in with my white i'll undo this last stitch i like joining my pieces of thread using what's called a square knot or a surgeon knot it's a very strong knot and easy to make so white on my left burnt orange on my right right over left then the white will go over and under the orange that then the orange will go over the white and under to create that loop then you just give it a nice tight pull and it's done so I'll just cut off these loose ends at the edge now with this I don't have to worry about tucking in loose ends since we'll be changing colors a lot. That saves me a lot of time and effort in tucking in the loose ends and this knot will be hidden on the edge so I'm not concerned about that. So it's an easy way for me to switch threads and still save myself the work of tucking in loose ends. So since we undid that last single crochet we're going to go back in there and work that single crochet and we are done with row two so to begin off row three we are going to chain one turn our work and in that first space right there we're going to yarn over and work a double crochet in that space and then in the next three spaces what we're going to do is work three double crochets but we will not complete the double crochets so yarn over Go into the space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Don't finish the double crochet. Yarn over, go into the space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Now I have a total of four loops on my hook. I'll yarn over and go through all the four. Then I'll chain seven. Four, five, six, seven. Then I'll yarn over. I'll skip that chain space. That we did in our previous row and in the next space i'm going to go in yarn over and pull through two work a double crochet but don't finish it and work the same in the next space yarn over go into the next space pull up a loop yarn over pull through two now i have a total of four will not complete that yet so we'll skip the this next space which was a single crochet and move to the next so yarn over move to the next pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and go to the next space work the same and in the final space work the same so in total you have worked six incomplete double crochets leaving us with a total of seven loops on my hook then i'll yarn over and yarn through all pull through all the seven then I'll chain seven seven after that I'll skip the chain space between the two sets of double crochet where we chained one I'll skip that space move to the next and work an incomplete double crochet yarn over in the next space work another double crochet but don't complete it did the next space the same and then remember this bottom will skip that space and move to the next and work three more double crochets but we will not complete them so we've worked 
six double crochet three on this side and three on this side leaving us with a total of seven loops on our hook then i'll yarn over and pull through all the seven then i'll chain seven and it's a repeat from this point onwards it's a repeat our flowers are slowly beginning to take shape after my seventh chain i'll yarn over I'll skip this space after that and in the next I'll work another set of double crochets. Skip this next one and in the next three work the same. Make sure you have a total of seven loops on your hook. Then you'll yarn over and pull through all the seven. Then you'll chain seven. And it's a repeat so repeat the same pattern all the way to the end and i'll meet you at the end of row three i'm at the end of row three so i've worked my seven chains so i'll yarn over skip that space over here and in the next i'll work three double crochets that i'll not complete like that now i have a total of four and i'll yarn over and pull through all the four then I'll yarn over and in this next space where we had our single crochet, just turn like this, this little V. I'll go in there and work another double crochet the same way we started off. How we started off the row is by working a double crochet and three double crochets as a cluster. The same way we'll end. So we have our cluster of three double crochet and one double crochet to end it off. So that's the end of row three. I'll make a chain and turn my work to begin row 4. So for row 4 in that first space right there, I'm going to yarn over and work one double crochet in that space. Yarn over and in this space, when you give your chain a pull, you'll see that space over there at the top. I'm going to go in there and work three individual complete double crochets so that is one two and three after that i'm going to that space where we skipped in row two i'll go in that space and work a single crochet then i'll yarn over move to this little sack over here that space over there I'll go in there and work three double crochets. Then I'll chain one and work three more double crochets in the same space. Then I'll move to this space where we skipped a stitch in row two. Go in that space and work a single crochet. And that single crochet holds our chain, our seven chains, it holds it down. Then I'll yarn over and move to this little space over here, this little circle. I'll go in that space and work three double crochets. Then I'll chain one and work three more double crochets in the same space. Then I'll move to that space, the chain space in row, in row two. I'll go in there and work my single crochet to hold my chain stitch down. And it's a repeat from here onwards. So I'll work three double crochets in that. I'll work three double crochets in that little circle. Chain one and work three more double crochet in the same space so it's a repeat pattern from here all the way to the end I've worked my single crochet in that last space and then in our final space our little circle over there I'm going to yarn over and work three double crochets and this being the end of the pattern we're just going to work three then I'll yarn over and at the top, this little V after that, I'm going to go into that space and work one double crochet to finish off 
row 4 and from this point what we're going to do is change our thread so from this point I'll just give myself an, uh, an inch allowance I'll cut my thread then I'll undo that last stitch just to give myself a working allowance to join the two pieces of thread together one on my left one on my right right over left then the one that at the bottom will come over and under like that then the one that's on top will go over like that and under to create a loop then you just give it a nice little pull and you have your sajo knot done give it a little pull and snip off these tail ends then i'll i'll go in with my hook and work that final double crochet that we undid then i'll chain one and turn my work then in that first now we are on row five in that first space i'm going to go in there pull up a loop and work a single crochet then i'll chain three and begin working again on my flowers so i'll yarn over go into the space pull up a loop pull through two yarn over go into the next space pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over go into the next space pull up a loop yarn over pull through two that's a total of three we are not going to stop there we're going to skip this last stitch that was a single crochet and move to the next and work three more three more double crochets so one two and three so we have our six double crochets all together but not completed and you have a total of seven loops on your hook then I'll yarn over and pull through all the seven then I'll chain seven then I'll move I'll yarn over and move to the next space so I'll skip this chain space of the previous row and in the next space I'm going to work double crochet but I'll not complete it yarn over move to the next space work the same yarn over move to the next space and work the same yarn over I'll skip this next space which was a single crochet and in the next I'll yarn over and work as double crochet but I'll not complete it yarn over move to the next space work the same move to the last space work the same so I have worked six double crochets and I've not completed them all so making leaving me with a total of seven loops on my hook I'll yarn over and pull through all the seven loops and chain seven and from this point onwards it's a repeat all the way so after you chain seven you're going to yarn over skip that space and in the next space start in the next space start working on your set of double crochet so just continue and i'll meet you at the end of the row i'm at the end of row five so i've worked my last set of double crochets after this since we are at the end we are going to complete the same way we started off at the beginning so i'll chain three instead of seven and after the chain three i'll turn my work this first v i'm going to that space and work one single crochet And we've finished off row five so i'll chain one and turn my work to start off row six i'll go into that single crochet space that we did I'll go in there and work one single crochet and then in our little circle over here i'm going to yarn over and work 
three double crochets then I'll chain one and work three more double crochets in the same space to complete your little flower then I'll move to this space that was a chain space in row three I'll go in there and work a single crochet from the bottom to hold this set of chain stitches down then I'll move to that next little circle over there in the middle of our flower and I'll work three double crochets in that space Then I'll chain one and work three more double crochets in the same space. Then I'll move to that chain space at the bottom of row three. I'll go in there and work a single crochet to hold our chains together. To hold our chains down then I'll yarn over and then in our little circle in our flower I'll go in and work three more three double crochets chain one and three more double crochets in the same space Then in that space, I'll go in and work my single crochet and it's a repeat all the way to the end. So you have your little flowers already forming and your pattern coming along beautifully. So continue with the same and I'll meet you at the end of row six. I've worked my little, my last set my last flower which is a set of three double crochets a chain space and three double crochets then we'll finish off by working a single crochet in this space but I've already cut my thread since we'll be changing thread now from the burnt orange to the white I'll first join my threads so with my with my white and my orange so right over left then the white will come over and under and then the burnt orange will also go over and under the white to create that little loop then you'll give your threads a pull then I'll cut off these tail ends from the base And after that, we will, I'll work my last single crochet in this space. The last space where we have a single crochet in the previous. I'm going to go in there and work that last single crochet. And our knot is hidden at the end. Then I'll yarn over and chain one and turn my work to begin row seven. So row 7 will be the same as row 3. So anytime we change the color, the pattern will be the same. So when we're changing when we change color, we were in row 3. Now we are in row 7 and it will be the same since we're only changing color twice. But for row 7, it will be the same as row 3. Please bear that in mind. So I'll yarn over and in that first space over there I'll work a double crochet and in the next space I'll work a double crochet but I'll not complete it. Same for the next two and with four loops on my hook I'll yarn over and pull through all the four. Then I'll chain seven. Yarn over 
I'll skip that space that was a chain space of the previous row. And in the next, I'll work a double crochet, but I'll not complete it. Same for the next two. Then in this space, we're going to skip that space and in the next work, another set of three double crochets, but we will not complete to make a total of six double crochets like that. And I have a total of seven loops on my hook. Then I'll lean over and pull through all the seven. Then I'll chain seven. I'll skip this space and in the next I'll yarn over and work my double crochets but I'll not complete them. Second, your third, you skip this single, this next space and in the next work your three double crochets, not completing them. And after that, we'll yarn over and pull through all the seven loops on our hook. Then I'll chain seven. And from here, it's a repeat pattern. So I'll work, work your next set of double crochets in the next three spaces to finish off. And I'll meet you at the end of row seven so i'm at the end of row seven i've done my set of double crochets so i'll chain seven then i'll yarn over skip this space and work three double crochets not completing them Since we are at the end, the same way as our starting point, we're just going to work three incomplete double crochets, then I'll yarn over and go through all the four, and then I'll yarn over and work one complete double crochet in that next space to finish off row seven. Then I'll chain one and turn my work. And in this first space, I'll yarn over and work one double crochet in that space and then in the next space just give your project a pull that space I'm going to yarn over and work three more double crochets then in the next space right here where we have our chain space we skipped a chain right there we're going to go into that space Pull up a loop and work a single crochet to hold those chains down. Then I'll move to this at the top of the flower right here and I'll work three double crochets. I'll chain one and work three more double crochets in the same space. Then I'll move to the next place right here. I'll go in there and work my single crochet. Then I'll move to that little circle over there and work three double crochets. Chain one and work three more double crochets in the same space. Then I'll move to the next and single crochet and from this point it's a repeat and you have your little flowers. So continue and I'll meet you at the end of row 8. I'm at the end of row 8 so I've worked my last single crochet in that space. Then I'll yarn over and in, in that little circle at the end when you give your chain a little pull you'll see that little space over there we're going to go in there and work our last three double crochets 
so you have your first your second and your third and your third at this point of we will be change will be changing our thread so I still have one more double crochet to go right there so I've left that little allowance for that purpose I'll join in with my burnt orange so left one on my left one on my right so right over left then the one that's on the bottom will go over and under and the one that's now on top will go over and under and then you give both a tight pull and cut off from the base and then i'll work my last double crochet in that next space that the going to yarn over go into that space and work my last double crochet it has eaten a bit into the burnt orange being the end it's okay i do not mind then i'll chain one and turn our work to begin row nine so from this point onwards i'm confident that you can continue as you go so anytime you're changing your thread the pattern will be the same so since we changed our thread at row three to go to the white so row three and row four will be the same as row seven and row eight so if you're changing threads twice like me your row with our burnt orange we had row one and two which is a unique so you'll move over to row five so row five and row six will be the same as row nine which is what we will be working on nine now and row ten so i will leave you off at row nine you can just rewind the video and go back to where we changed our thread previously and start the same way so you'll just continue and i'll meet you towards the end so that we can complete off our pattern so i've worked a total of 23 rows so this is my 23rd row with my white thread so i'm going to finish off this pattern with row 24 so from after your 23rd row i'll just chain one turn my work since row 24 is a close off row we'll just be working a series of single crochets across so in this first space we're going to work one single crochet in this space we're going to work one single crochet and in this chain space we're going to work three then our fourth crochet we're going to make sure it passes at the bottom of this previous of this space so we're going to go under there and work your fourth single crochet just to hold it down and then work three more single crochets in that same chain space to make a total of seven single crochets on that chain space then after that at the top in this space we're going to work one single crochet and in the next space we're going to work one single crochet and then we're back to this chain space we're going to work three single crochets and then the fourth single crochet make sure it passes between this space so you'll go in there and work your fourth single crochet then work three more single crochets in the same chain space then you'll move over to the next space and work another single crochet and in the next space right over there you'll work your single crochet then you back to the next chain space We're going to work three single crochets 
the fourth make sure it passes under here so your fourth and three more in the same space in the same chain space work three more single crochets right there to make a total of seven single crochets on that chain and then continue so it's just a series of single crochets in each space and in the chain space you're working seven single crochet and the fourth make sure it holds that piece down so continue and i'll meet you at the end of row 24. i've worked my last three double crochets in the chain space so i'll work two more single crochets so in that space that little space don't forget that space it's a bit tight so i'll go in there it's a bit tight so give it a little push and pull up a loop work a single crochet and then there's this last v space I'm going to go there just make sure you work two more single crochets after the chain the same way you began you started off with two single crochets before you started working on the chain space so make sure you have two single crochets after you've worked your three your seven sets of single crochets on the chain space so from this point i'll just chain one and cut off my thread because i'm done with my pattern and i'll tuck this tail end so after my 24th row and tucking in my tail end that's what i'll have so if you want to make a blanket or a baby blanket out of this you can just extend lengthwise to as long as you need to and widthwise also according to the size that you require i want to join my two pieces together so i'll bring in the piece that i made earlier so if you follow the pattern just make an exact same piece so that you have two pieces for me i made this one earlier so i'll just join them together like that matching your edges and then what i'll do is i'll work a series of half double crochets on these three sides so the left the bottom and the right and then i'll insert my pillow and finish off my set of half double crochets at the top if you wish to add a fastener like a zip or buttons you leave your top open so that you can insert your fastener or your buttons at in intervals for me i'll just join everything with single crochet to join my two pieces together i'll start off by making a slip knot so wrap the yarn around my two fingers make sure they cross it they cross then i'll take my hook go below the first one and pick up on the second and give your project a pull then i have my slip knot then i'll remove it and put it aside first then you make sure you match your back your front and your back pieces so we'll start off at the last space that first single crochet space and the one behind it like that so after putting my hook just pull up my thread yarn over and pull through just for strength purposes i'll try as much as possible to match and make sure i have 50 half double crochets as i go down this row so since we have 24 rows i'll try to put two in each and every space but let's see how it goes so after that first i'll yarn over go into the next space pull up a loop yarn over pull through all the three yarn over matching the back and the front pull up a loop yarn over pull through all the three and since this space is a little bit bigger i'll yarn over and go into that space twice Then I'll yarn over and go into my orange space. So that little space over there, go in there and match 
the same at the back. Yarn over, pull through all the three. Yarn over, go into the next space, matching the same at the back. Yarn over, yarn over, pull through all the three. Now we'll be working on the white. So yarn over, go into that white space, and the one at the back, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all the three. Move into the next, yarn over, into this next, and match the same, you won't really match the same. And pull through three, yarn over, go into the next, So what I'm trying to do is just give an average spacing between my single crochet so I can have a neat look as we go down the space. So this is the most tricky bit about this, about the pattern, but just use your judgment and work as you go. So I'm at the end of my first side. I've managed to work a total of 36 half double crochet for this side. And then I'll, I'm now at the bottom, so I'll just turn my work. I think for the bottom it will be much easier to work with. So in that little corner where I've worked my first, I'll work two more in the same space. So that you can have a defined corner. And then... I'll move now to the back piece. I'm now at my bottom right corner. So I've worked my last half double crochet. And in that same space, since we are at a corner, I'll work two more half double crochets in the same space just for a defined corner then I'll move to my right which is my third side so again just make sure your white matches and your browns and your burnt orange matches then I'll just be going into the space, making sure it's yarn over, going to the next space, and make sure it, I go through the front and the back piece at the same time. So just continue your series all the way to the top of the right side, and I'll meet you at that top right corner. I'm at my top right corner right now. So I've worked half double crochet, then I'll work one more in that corner. So in this being a corner, I'll just work two more half, du half double crochets in the same space. So three half double crochets in that corner space just to give it a nice little curve. And from there, I'll from this point it will be so easy to move so the, this be in that way so you're just going to be going into those spaces and working your half double crochets all across and at this point I've worked a few half double crochets at this point I will pause insert my pillow and continue here i have my 16 inch by 16 inch pillow insert so i'll just slip my throw cover in this and then we'll continue with our row i'm in the last space so i've worked my final half double crochet 
I'll work one more just to give it a nice little turn. And after here, in this first space right here, I'll go in there and work a slip stitch. Yarn over, work one stitch. I'm in the last space, so I've worked my final half double crochet. I'll work one more just to give it a nice little turn. And after here, in this first space right here, I'll go in there and work a slip stitch, yarn over, work one stitch, cut my thread, and we'll be done with our pattern. So I'll tuck this in. So once you've cleaned up all your tail ends, what you'll have is this beautiful Harlequin stitch throw pillow cover in burnt orange and white it measures 16 inch by 16 inch if you've made it to the end of this video comment in the comment section below on what you found interesting about the video also like this video and please hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you can be notified on any time we put a new video up also if you manage to make this pillow please tag us on our instagram page at afristyleyans and i will see you in the next video bye